friends, greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the Ingevity product, something you may have heard about, read about, something somebody may have told you, if you've got questions about skincare formulations or about our truth treatment products or the Ingevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number. And speaking of the Ingevity products, if you want to order your Beyond Tangy Tangerine or your Healthy Start Pack or your Ultimate Enzymes or your Biolumin Nightly Essence, you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. 866 735 you can also order products right off the website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, I saw a commercial today, by the way, early this morning for Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. They, supposedly, it's a crazy product. It has retinol in it. It's a, it has a combination, they say, retinol SA glucose complex, right? And then you read the ingredient deck and you see retinol way on the bottom of the list after the preservatives. Preservatives are usually in a product at 0.1, that's 0.1% in the retinol in this crazy Neutrogena product. Uh, unbelievable. Is, uh, is uh, be, uh, underneath, it's behind, it's after the BHT and the, and the uh, uh, what's the other preservative in this thing? The BHT and the, uh, what's the other preservative? Uh, I don't even see, oh, chlorfenson. Chlorfenson and BHT, those are the two preservatives in the retinols, way at the bottom of the list. If you're interested in real retinol, if you're interested in real doses of retinol, you need at least 1%. Our retinol gel is a 5% retinol gel. You find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. All right, bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Troy Opperlay about enzymes. Troy's been manufacturing enzymes and working with enzymes for decades, and he's pretty much the go-to guy when it comes to enzyme chemistry. We're going to talk about the importance of digestive enzymes and the importance of systemic enzymes. We've talked about how you can use digestive enzymes to get benefits like anti-inflammatory benefits. Yesterday or day before yesterday, we had Bill, Hen Bill Henderson on. He was talking about how enzymes can be used to treat cancer, and they've been used to treat cancer very successfully. Anyway, we're going to talk to Troy at the bottom of the hour about enzymes. And uh, we'll take your calls in our second segment. All right, continuing on with uh, pigmentation and the role of stress hormones. If you are hyperpigmenting, you can take care of it topically. And we're going to talk about some topical strategies. But it's important to recognize that like all skin conditions, it's rare that you have a topical problem when you have a skin problem. It's rare that your skin problem is caused by something that's happening on the top of the skin. Typically, when we have pigmentation or acne or oily skin or a rash or eczema or psoriasis, we are dealing with an internal condition that is showing up on the skin. And nothing exemplifies this relationship between the inside of the body and skin conditions as much as pigmentation, dark spots, or melasma. Yesterday, we talked about the importance of making sure we're processing estrogen correctly. Estrogen is a very complicated molecule. There's many, many different types of estrogen. It's despite the fact we hear about the word estrogen, it turns out that there's many derivatives of estrogen, some of them toxic. 
and estrogenic diseases, diseases that are associated with estrogen. These are the uh, illnesses that largely affect women who are high estrogen producers are not so much the fault of estrogen as they are the fault of poorly processed estrogen. So if you're dealing with an autoimmune disease, if you're dealing with a reproductive cancer, if you're dealing with any kind of excess inflammation or pigmentation, you could probably throw depression and migraine headaches and gallbladder issues into the mix. Same for PMS, same for weight gain. All of these are likely to have an estrogen component. And if you suspect that this is involved in your health challenge, and this is particularly true if you have the estrogenic body type, which is round, rounder, softer skin, buxom, uh, rounder features, thicker hair. If you have the estrogenic body type, and if you're dealing with any of these health issues, you need to focus on estrogen processing, and that means, number one, the digestive system, especially around fats. You can use uh, digestive enzymes that help you process fats. You can make sure you're getting your essential fatty acids. You can make sure that you're getting your fatty minerals and your fatty vitamins. All of these are going to help you process estrogen. You can also use probiotics. Good bacteria are very important, not just for overall digestive health, but specifically for helping us process estrogen. And then there's a really, really cool ingredient that's in our ultimate enzymes called bile salts. You may have seen this. Now, we don't talk a lot about bile salts, but bile salts are tremendously, tremendously multifunctional. Bile salts are almost like a remedy for gallbladder or for gallstones. If you're dealing with gallstones, I don't want to say they are a remedy because if you have a stone and stuck in there, you need to do something about it. But as far as prevention of gallstones go, bile salts can help dissolve gallstones before they for, uh, dissolve the crystals before they form stones. Bile salts, uh, bile salts can also act as a detergent to clean out excess estrogen, to clean out drugs out of the body, to clean out other hormones out of the body. Bile salts facilitate digestion. Bile salts facilitate the absorption of vitamin A and vitamin E and vitamin K and vitamin D and essential fatty acids for that matter. And guess what? Bile salts that you get in your ultimate enzymes also function as hormones. Yes, bile salts actually have hormone activity that affects sugar metabolism, that affects fat metabolism, that affects the energy production in cells, that affects the digestive tract motility, the movement of the intestine, that affects bacterial growth, that affects inflammation, that has powerful effects for liver regeneration, and can help fight liver cancer too. How do you like that? bile salts that we never talk about, they're almost like a throw-in in your ultimate enzymes, have all of these tremendous, tremendous roles to play in terms of health. And as far as estrogen goes, bile salts can be super important for helping clear out excess estrogen. So if you're dealing with a pigmentation issue, hyperpigmentation, melasma, dark spots, you got an internal problem. It involves stress. The nervous system, the uh, pigment system and the stress nervous system are linked. Cortisol, stress hormone is involved and estrogen is involved. If that's you, Focus on your digestive system, use probiotics, make sure you're using your ultimate enzymes. There's lots more you can do as well. Progesterone cream can help, pregnenolone capsules can help. Focus on the digestive system, focus on estrogen and fatty hormones, and use supplements that help you balance out estrogen. All right, now let's talk about some topical strategies, and we'll get back to talking about internal nutrition and internal strategies for hyperpigmentation, but there's some great topical things you could do. Great topical ingredients, my favorite, my all-time favorite, uh, tied for my all-time favorite uh, skin ingredient, to topical skin ingredient is vitamin C. I don't want to beat a dead horse here because we talk about vitamin C all the time. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the internal nature of vitamin C and why it's so important internally tomorrow. But topically, vitamin C is a skin lightener, and it's an awesome skin lightener, and it's a non-toxic skin lightener. Remember, pigmentation, when the body wants to pigment, pigmentation is a fundamental process in the body, and when it wants to pigment, you really got to use some heavy-duty drugs. Hydroquinone is, is the go-to drug to uh, stop the pigmentation. But if you use vitamin C, you don't have to worry about toxicity. You don't have to worry about drug effects or side effects. And you get anti-wrinkle and sun protection and anti-aging and even moisturization benefits too if you use the correct form of vitamin C. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this break. All right, we are back on 
On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben. Got Troy Operly coming up at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk enzymes. Troy's the go-to man. He's been manufacturing and working with enzymes now for decades, 30 years or so, I believe. We'll talk to Troy. A bottom of the hour, take your calls now, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Russia. And welcome Kevin to the bright side. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Fun. Ben, it's Kevin. You you know me. We. I know you well. Time. You don't sound like you're from Russia, though. Oh, well, I'm not. You know Russia, that. New York, um, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, uh, Kevin? I like that accent. Um, I'd like you to... Uh, speak a little bit more about uh, the fatty liver disease yeah. and how easy it is to get and reverse from um, uh, the very safe Tylenol through yeah. uh, medication. Yeah. Ty did you get fatty liver? Have you been diagnosed oh, with fatty liver? Um, you know, um, I got hurt in 91 and I was on these uh, poisons for the better part of, uh, like, 11 years. Tylenol and, every day? Um, pretty much. Okay. And, and it was, I, I kept telling the doctor it hurt. They just didn't listen. They thought you had pain in, your low, in the lower part of your body where your liver is? Uh, yeah, exactly. Interesting. And, you know, it gave me gallstones. And, uh, and then you got diagnosed with fatty liver disease? Absolutely. Now, here in this country, it's 100 million people have fatty liver yeah. issues. Same in Russia, I assume, right? Um, or do you know? Worse so, but it's more of the alcoholism. Yeah, uh, yeah. They, here they call Tylenol paracetamol, and it's highly restricted because they know how toxic it is. Are you serious? Is it a, is it a, a prescription drug? Paracetamol is a pres. Yeah. Is it? It's yeah. a prescription. It's very restricted now. I think for five years you you have to go to several doctors before they'll even consider uh, dispensing it. And, Interesting. Um, yeah, you could get almost anything up until five years ago. All you had to do was ask because there's really no problem with drugs here. And alcohol is the big problem. They don't do pain pills and Oxycontin and all uh, that kind of stuff? They took that away three years ago, and they're thinking about bringing it back because of so many high-profile suicides. Uh, now, people when you age five. When you say they took it away, do you mean they took it off the market totally or they made it a prescription? Took it away totally. Wow. So there's no pain pills? If you, what if you're in serious pain? What did they give you? Uh, uh, you Just like morphine pray. injections or something? You better go pray. I, don't, um, I broke my finger, and they gave me nothing when they had to re-break it to set it. Those Russians are tough, huh? No. <laughs> I see I'll Vladimir Putin that. fighting bears That's all the time. Breaking. Does Vladimir Putin really fight bears? And probably rest of them. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal with fatty liver disease. So many people have it. Why? Well, the liver is tremendously multifunctional. It's processing food. It's processing hormones. It's storing vitamins and protein and fats. It's just an incredible, incredible system, the liver is. Ancient people thought that the liver was actually the, the ran the body. So uh, here's the deal. If you have an issue with fatty liver disease, the first thing you want to do is clean the body out, especially of sugar and especially of fats. Between fats and sugar, you got the two major burdens on the, on the liver. So uh, treat yourself like a diabetic. Even if you haven't been diagnosed as a diabetic, restrict your intake of fast-burning sugars, and that means fruit juices and desserts and pasta and rice and potatoes. Uh, anything that breaks down into sugar is going to put a burden on the liver. The second thing you want to uh, focus on is fats. Avoiding bad fats, uh, uh, processed fats, hydrogenated fats, trans fats, and making sure that you're getting lots of essential fatty acids and good fats. Now, you can get your EFAs from foods, and you should get them from foods, eggs and, and fish and uh, avocados. These are all good sources of omega-3 fatty, uh, omega fatty acids. And then you've got to make sure you're supplementing. Now, can you get supplements pretty easily over there, Kevin? Oh, I, I have a very good supplement, and okay, I good. actually have a can of your uh, BTT, the 2.0. You, how'd you get it? In, they just, you didn't buy it, did you? Um, that did I'll they ship? with privately. Okay, yeah, I don't think they shipped it to, to Russia. So focus um, on the fats. Make sure you're using lots of your essential fatty acids, essential fatty acid foods, and also EFA supplements. Then there's great nutrients that you can use for the liver. We had uh, Dr.